Hi you guys, my name's Sarah. I'm a 4-H alumni. This is Rocky. This was my last year's 4-H project anima. We were very successful in my senior year. So what I'm just gonna do here for you guys today is a little quick showmanship clinic, some tips and tricks of the trade. I know that I'm gonna start out with a fitting halter that honestly fits my horse appropriately and a lead line with a chain preferably. If your horse is sensitive to the chain, you are more than welcome to use a regular lead line. But a lot of times if your horse is more advanced, the chain just gives you a little bit of a more of an edge to make those quick, precise movements. So my horse Rocky is broke to the chain. And as you can see, my chain is underneath his chin because that's the way he's trained. And if your horse is not broke to the chain, most people will put it above their nose just to have a little bit of more control in case they get a little offended by that chain. And as you can see, he's more interested in everybody, all of our friends over back at the barn. But I know when I hold my chain, we see that I have approximately four to five inches of chain hanging from my halter. Now I am not going to grab it here because if I do that and he makes a quick jerking up movement movement he's going to take me with him and we do not want that so I'm going to hold my chain approximately an inch to two inches below where it attaches to my lead rope but right here just as a safe distance away and you have enough of a reaction time if something does happen so we can start with the basics, like walking with our horse. I know that when I walk off with him, I'm going to walk with him and not drag him. This is me walking with him. He is moving with me and responding to me. This is me dragging him. He is rushed. I am in front of him, but I want to stay about at his jowl line. So I can see, he can see, and we're together. Same with trotting in hand. I am trotting with him and not dragging him. This is a nice pace, but now I'm dragging him. We're running, we're sprinting, and I can't run like that. <laughs> Same with halting, he should be connected enough to you as his rider or his owner to know your cues to halt. Now Rocky responds to your shoulders mostly. So I took a big step before I halted and I leaned back and he halted with me. For Rocky, he is, like as I said, he is broke, so he knows a lot of cues for his commands. If I tell him to set and assist him in setting, he will set up, such as. And of course, we set up. Same with pivoting. So he is a forward pivot. I have to pull him out of his circle a little bit just because as you can see, he is big, he is long, he is gangly looking sometimes. <laughs> I have to pull him out of it so his legs don't get trapped underneath each other and he falls over because he's trying to stick that pivot and he loses balance. So I'm gonna show you guys that as well. So I'm gonna set him up again. And here we go. And you see throughout that video, I don't have pressure on that chain pulling him down. I am pulling him up and away from himself in order to pull his legs, his front legs out from underneath himself. Most horses do pivot on their hind right. 
Now that is not a guarantee for all. My pony has to pivot on his hind left due to an old injury. It just, it is what it is. Some judges will knock you down for it. Some don't care as much, but we're really aiming for them to stick that pivot with their hind feet, no matter which one it is. Now he gets a little weird backing. So I have to help him back a lot of the times and saying that I will take slower steps. I will ask more precise and clear